Hi guys, I want to talk to you about a super frustrating issue that was I was struggling with all evening and I finally figured it out. Uh, and I want to save you guys some time. So, do you ever use OBS Studio and you get a black screen? Usually that is because you have two graphics adapters on your card and uh, I'll show you how to see them. You run Device Manager and you'll see that uh, you go to Display Adapters and you've got two cards, an Intel which is an in internal integrated graphics card and an NVIDIA or whatever your, your dedicated graphics card. Okay, so you got two of them and whichever one you launch OBS Studio with, you know, that's the one that it can see and it can't see the other stuff running on the other card. So if you have two, two displays, you're only gonna be able to see the one that you launch on. And so normally I use display capture so I can show uh, what's going on on this screen and then I run OBS Studio on my other screen here, okay? So when you do that, it runs and you can see what you see here. And if you take a look at the display capture, it can't even see the other display. And that's because the other display is through an HDMI cable which must be on the hardware graphics card. It must be on the NVIDIA card, right? But since I launched this, on the internal card, um, I can only see what's on the internal card, okay? Now, if I had launched this on the NVIDIA card, I would not be able to see my laptop screen. I would not be able to do a display capture, okay? I would only be able to do a game capture. Otherwise, it would look like a black screen, like this, okay? So that's been working fine, but it just stopped working recently. Um, and normally where you go to change that is you go to the NVIDIA control panel, which I will show you here. You go to NVIDIA control panel, and in this control panel, you can choose a program and set whether it runs on the integrated graphics card or the hardware, NVIDIA dedicated graphics card, right? So you go to program settings and you pick the program, which in this case is OBS Studio, and then you set it to whatever you want, either your high performance NVIDIA processor or your integrated card. If you haven't touched this, it uses the global setting, which would, it tells you what that is here. I had it on integrated graphics and it had been working fine, but then it stopped working and it was clearly launching on the dedicated graphics card. And the way you can see that is by going to help log files, um, view current log, and it will tell you, um, you've got two video adapters, you've got an Intel integrated and an Nvidia dedicated, and it's loading on the, um, loading up on the, Intel integrated, okay? But I was running it and it was running on the dedicated. And I'm like, how can that possibly be? And I was getting a black screen. How could it be running on the dedicated when I clearly have it set to integrated here? And I rebooted and I did this several times and I updated my drivers and I did everything else and it just wasn't working. It turns out that the problem was a recent Windows update, which overrides this, okay? And to fix it, all you have to do is go into display settings uh, and then go down here to graphics settings and you have to add the OBS studio. So this wasn't there before, but you basically are gonna do the same thing that you do in NVIDIA control panel. You have to browse, you find OBS 64, which is in your program files, 64 bit, bin, whatever. Find this uh, app, add it, and then set options, power saving, which puts it on, forces it to the Intel graphics. Okay, so I don't know why a recent Windows update overrides the NVIDIA uh, app, but it does, and you can fix it by just telling it in Windows to run on the integrated graphics card. So I hope this helps. I hope this saves you some time. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. Otherwise, have a good day, and thanks for watching.